What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how I organize my pantry and I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like right now, how bad it looks, how unorganized it looks, and um, I'm just going to show you guys just how I organize it. So let's just turn this around. And sorry for the bad lighting. I probably should turn on the lights before I did this. Okay, so this is what my pantry looks like. It's really not that big. It's actually smaller than the pantry we had at the other house. I'm going to have to keep my broom in here because I don't have anywhere on the side of my refrigerator to put it or anything like that. But yeah, so this is what my pantry looks like. Um, like I said, it is smaller than the one I had at the other house. The other house, I think had like it was like three times more space than this so yeah right now just everything is just pushed in there just slammed all the way in there you can't see what's behind and whatnot so I mean what I have on this top shelf here is I have some protein powder I have I don't know oatmeal some brownie mix some um I have my blender up there uh cornbread mix and these this and this one and this one, these three shelves here, I probably should have put this camera on a stand so that way I can show you guys a little bit um, better, but oh well. These three shelves are what we use the most. Um, so yeah, I have like my canned goods up here, some, what is that? Some pasta, hamburger helpers just thrown in there. Um, I think this has like some chips in it, that container back there, but yeah, canned goods right here. And in this, um, shelf here is where I have my sugar, powdered sugar, I have some pasta, I have some snacks for the kids right there. Um, this is where I keep my bread, um, uh, flour and popcorn. And then the next one I have is where I keep the cereals at. I have my Bisquick back there. Um, and also the kids' lunch snacks. And then this one right here, I don't know. This was supposed to be like my extras area. But I just don't have enough room for everything. So I kind of have to stuff some things in here. So I have my potatoes here. I have these things right here. These are so good. These rice cakes are so freaking good. I love these. And they're um, lightly salted. These are my favorite ones. I have some more cereal down here. Crackers. Uh, more pasta. Um, some more kids snacks for school. Oil, vinegar. And the very bottom here, this is where I keep like my items that I don't really use that much. Like um, my George Foreman. Uh, waffle maker. Stuff like that. I have my napkins. My, pop my popcorn maker's right there and then um, obviously some paper towels and I really don't I just we don't really have that much cabinet space because as you can see that's pretty much all the cabinet space I have and then I have some cabinet space right here but that's it I don't really have that much cabinet space so it kind of sucks that I just don't have anywhere to put anything so I don't know I'm gonna try to see if I can try to find somewhere else for that thing or those things down there um, maybe I can put it into um, this cabinet right here, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit it in there. But anyways, so yeah, I'm just going to do a before so you guys can kind of see what my cabinet looked like before. And then we'll do it after later. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys all of the bins and containers and stuff like that that I got I went I shopped at like hmm three or four different places just to find these things um so I'm gonna show you guys what I got and then I'm gonna take everything out of my pantry and try to organize everything into here and then put it every and then put everything back in my pantry so we'll see how that works so yeah all right move this out of the way Okay, so here are the bins and containers that I got. I hope you guys can really see. This lighting is not going to be too bad because I should have brought my ring light in here, but I didn't. Okay, so I got this little cookie jar thing here, which I probably will not use for cookies. 
Um, maybe for the kids' snacks or something. I don't know. But I got this at Tar no Walmart, and it was like ten forty seven or something. It was like eleven dollars for this thing, and it's plastic. And what I like with most of these containers, they're like airtight, but you just kind of flip the lid like this, and then it just pulls out. And then you put it back in, pull that down, and it um, seals it pretty tight. So yeah, I've got that. I also bought this right here, which I got from Walmart as well. This was, I think, like $10 or 11, about 11 bucks for this thing. Um, got those two at Walmart. Where else? Oh, yeah. And then I got these three-tier spice rack um, things. I got those from Walmart as well. They were like three something um, for these two. And I'm going to use these for my cans. I'm going to try. I'm, I'm hoping that it's going to fit all my cans. It probably won't. I don't think it will. But yeah, that's what I got going on for my cans. Um, and I, yeah, I also got that at um, Walmart. And then I got this right here at Walmart. And I think this was about $9. It was like $8.47 or something like that. And it's the same type of lid. Um, you just pull that open. And it's like airtight like that. Um, I actually got these two, which are the same. They're the same ones. Um, it's just that, see how this has gray around it? And this one is clear. I kind of like the clear, but I don't know. I mean, I guess it's okay. But I actually got this, these two right here. This one and this one with the, with the clear, I got those ones at Burlington. I think they, those were like $8. So I actually got a really good deal off of that. And I probably should have went back and just got the, the third one because I, I needed three. And I was thinking about putting my cereal into these containers right here. And then I got this white basket from the 99 cent store, but it was $1.99 for this. And I was thinking about maybe putting my bread or something like that in it because I don't I don't know what I don't know where to put my bread. And I also, I actually want a bread container type thing, but I don't know. I had to order order some online or whatever, and I just I didn't I don't know I didn't do it. So I like to get my stuff like now. So yeah. And then let's see what else I got this one here from Ross, and this was. It won't even focus, but it was $3.99. There we go, $3.99 for this container here. Okay. I got this one here from Ross, and it's the same container where it flips up, it's airtight, it has the clear around it, and I got that for $7.99. So you know what? I don't know, maybe, I think these ones were $7.99 at Burlington. I don't know, Burlington has some good deals, but yeah, they didn't really have, they only had like one of these, I think, or two. Yeah, they had two, because I got the last two, I remember that. Okay, so yeah, so, and then I got these, and it comes with two, and this was $7.99 for both of these. And I really like these because it has like those handles like an opening for the handle, like this one right here. And this one here. These are all kind of similar uh, little containers. And then I got these two at Target. And this is the first place I went to. And I kind of wish I would have waited because I spent the most at Target. Like, I think, I don't know, this was, I think, $10 or something like that. And it doesn't have the handle thingy like this one, but it does have like a lip right here. If you guys can see um, I got this one and then I got this one here and I don't remember how much this one this is probably like eight bucks or something like that or vice versa I don't know so yeah those are the containers that I got so what I was thinking about doing is taking everything out of here and putting everything on my table and um, then sorting everything out. So, yep.
if you guys want to see how I organize my cabinet, then please keep on watching. guys the cabinet or pantry is clean yay but look at all that oh my gosh look at all this stuff that I have to organize oh my gosh I don't know how I'm gonna fit you know most of this stuff in these containers I washed them and everything so oh my gosh I really do not know what I'm gonna do with all this stuff but I do want to tell you guys one of the good things about um, organizing your pantry and going through everything is if you have expired stuff you know you can throw it away and the reason why let me just turn this around here okay so the reason why you would want to organize your pantry you know obviously so you can find what you need to find in there but you don't sometimes you buy like duplicates of stuff and that you don't even know it because everything is just like thrown in there and you can't you can't see everything yeah so that's a really big reason why I wanted to organize um, I really didn't have anything that was expired or anything like that or doubles in my pantry because we had just kind of went grocery shopping so everything was everything is pretty much brand new so um, yeah, but when you organize everything, I just want to be able to see everything in my pantry. So I, so I don't, so I know what I have and what I need. So, yeah. So I guess I'm just gonna try to see if I can fit everything back into here looking really nice. So let's see if I can do that. And here it is after I am so so happy of how it turned out I got everything in there um, I'm really surprised that all my cans fit on those um, little that three tier stand thing really 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 happy that it fit so up here I have my rice snacks those uh, rice cakes um, some barbecue chips, um, some tortilla chips, barbecue sauce, and then I didn't have enough containers for my cereal and stuff, so I'm probably going to get some more. I'm going to have to get about three more containers, um, like the cereal box ones. Um, but yeah, so I put my cereal up here with um, the Bisquick and also another box of cereal. Second shelf, we have the all the cans and it's I love it so much because you can actually see like every single can that you have like it's so amazing and then in this little corner here I have my tea and coffee and some Kool-Aid for the kids and this um, the third shelf I have the sugar powder sugar flour popcorn rice and we have our pasta right there fourth shelf is the cereal looks so pretty in clear containers guys it really does and then I have the kids school snacks in these bins here and then what is this the fifth shelf <laughs> um, I put my bread into this white basket here so I have my bread um, hamburger and hot dog buns in there and then in this bin, I have Top Ramen, Macaroni and Cheese. Um, that's where I kept my Hamburger Helper I have back there. Um, some crackers and cheese. 
And in this bin, I have some Pop-Tarts, oatmeal, and I put the syrup right there. I don't know. I didn't know where else to put it, so I put it right there. I figured since it's kind of breakfasty in this little bin, I would put the syrup right there, I guess. And then I took out my George Foreman and waffle maker, and I actually put it into one of my cabinets in the kitchen, and I filled this up with our extra stuff, so I have extra sugar extra oil, extra vinegar, extra, all the extras go in this bin right here. And then I have my popcorn maker in that corner. And then I just put our protein powders right there. They're almost gone anyway. So, um, yeah, I just put that right there. So that's what it looks like. And I'm so, so, so happy that it looks really nice. And I just hope it continues to look this nice. Now I do have two boys, so they are going to probably not keep this area, especially right here, um, this neat, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, but I'm just, yeah, I'm so excited how it looks and it looks really nice. And I think my next, um, project I'm going to do is the refrigerator, um, kind of organize that too, but I'm just so excited how all this looks. Okay, also, you guys are probably going to ask me, like, why didn't I put labels on everything? I kind of feel like, um, these really don't need labels. I kind of know where, what everything is. I mean, everything... Look, I mean, it looks like sugar, it looks like powdered sugar, it looks like flour, it looks like... So I don't feel like I need to label anything, but if you guys want to label your pantry, you guys can go ahead and do that. So, yeah. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. If you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more organizing videos, um, then please comment below and let me know what kind of organizing videos you guys want to see. If you guys want to see how I organize my refrigerator or cabinets or... However, please let me know because those are some projects that I need to do. So, um, yeah, I'm so happy with my pantry. It looks amazing. And, um, yeah, if you guys um, are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And until next time, bye, guys.